One of the easiest ways to boost your super is through salary sacrificing. This is where you ask your employer to make extra super contributions into your account straight from your employment income before any tax is taken out. This is on top of the compulsory contributions they're already making for you. As well as saving more for your retirement, salary sacrificing can be tax effective as money that goes into your super is generally taxed at only 15% rather than your marginal tax rate. How effective this strategy could be for you depends on your level of income and individual tax rate. Regardless of the potential tax benefits, every extra contribution you make to super will help grow your retirement wealth. Here's an example of the kind of difference just a small amount could make. Kim and Robin were colleagues. From age 40, they both earned a salary of $80,000 per year. Kim, who didn't salary sacrifice, ended up with a super balance of around $341,235 when she retired at age 65. Robin decided to salary sacrifice 2.5% of her income each year, which meant she had around $25 per week less take-home pay. But when she retired, her super balance was $397,859. That's $56,624 more than Kim. There's no minimum amount required for salary sacrificing, although there is a maximum you can contribute each year before you incur tax penalties. This is called the concessional contributions cap. The cap is a limit on the amount of concessional contributions you can add to your super each financial year without incurring tax penalties. The combined total of your concessional contributions, which includes your salary sacrifice contributions, employers' compulsory super guarantee contributions, and any personal contributions where a tax deduction has been claimed, can't exceed $27,500 per year. Check the ATO website to find out more about the different types of concessional contributions. This strategy is potentially a great way for you to boost your super, but it is important to remember that super is a long-term investment and you will not be able to access it until you retire or meet a condition of release. There are also conditions and eligibility criteria that may apply, so it is worth visiting the ATO website for further information about this. If you are considering making an additional contribution to your super, we suggest speaking with a financial advisor who can review your personal situation and work out what is the best and most tax-effective option for you. A financial advisor can also help make sure your super is invested to suit your life stage and risk preference to get you on track to achieve the retirement you want. If you have any questions or would like more information about super, we're always here to help. Thanks for watching.